Yeah, and, uh, obviously a uh, a hard fought season. To, you know, it's, it's never easy to, uh, to to lose the last game. What's the feeling like today, and how, and how do you kind of feel about this team heading into the off season? Uh, obviously, we didn't finish the way we wanted to, um, but we learned a lot this year, and I think that's going to definitely help us throughout the off season and going into next year. Um, got a guys, a lot of guys got a lot of experience, a lot of experience, and. Uh, the air was pointing up for us all season. We were getting better and better week in and week out. And um, you know, so guys are going to take some time off right now and you know, get their bodies back right. And then once we can get back in the building, you know, it'll be you know full steam ahead. A lot of guys have said this morning and really throughout the year that if things are pointing up in part because of what Ron Rivera ha has, has brought to this team, what, what can you kind of say to that and how his influence has helped uh, change things? Oh, I mean, it's, it's been big. Uh, the foundation that he's laid and uh, the buy-in from guys from all over is it's, it's been big and we saw what it takes to to get there now now is you know getting to the top of the mountain and uh like i said guys guys weren't just satisfied with you know just making the playoffs or just winning the division um guys want to get you know past that and uh to get past that coach has been there he's been to the top of the mountain he's won it and uh he's been there several times so uh for us um we got it. We got a taste of it. So, so going forward, we understand we're, we're gonna have to get better. We're gonna have to work harder. Um, and you know, like I said, we just gotta keep keep grinding. Thanks. Hey, hey, Ronald, what is the next step for this defense? Um, keep taking that. It, you know, it's 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 a lot of things that that we can definitely get better at. Um, yeah, we we. We finished statistically um, pretty good, uh, but there's still a lot of stuff that we left out there. I mean, you go back and you watch those films. Uh, our standard is our standard, and uh, it just it wasn't good enough. And um, I think guys are excited to really break themselves down and break this defense down and, and see how we can keep getting better. Because this, this was a new scheme for a lot of guys. A lot of guys were – uh, two gap guys up front. You know, a lot of guys may have played certain coverages uh, in the past, but uh, you could see week in and week out, we just started understanding more and more how we could fit off each other, how we could play off each other. So then we could keep playing faster and faster and execute what Coach Del Rio is uh, asking us to do. John, you played almost every snap this season, uh, and, and you've done that before. What is what does your body feel like after that, and and how long like do you think that it's going to take you to feel maybe I, I don't know if normal again is the right way to put it, but but to make you feel like you know I, I, I'm good. Um, to be honest, uh, it kind of just goes back to my training in the off season. Uh, that's something I kind of really take serious uh, to to get my body ready to go for that. Um, you know, I take pride in trying to play every snap uh, during the season, making sure I'm available for every practice because uh, those are reps that I could begin better and uh, keep helping this defense grow. So with my training, it's, it's like I said, it's just something I kind of do. I kill myself in the offseason. So when I get in the season, it's kind of second nature to me. With you being under contract next year and it being your third year in Washington, just – how nice is it to be settled in with this franchise after sort of, you know, bouncing around a couple of times in the league? Um, I, I think it's exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I mean, to be honest, it's going to be my first time having the same defense since I've been in the league. Every year I've had a new defensive coordinator since I've been in the league, um, regardless if I've uh, stayed with the team or not. Um, it's been a, it's been a new defense every year. So to be able to settle into one spot, play one one spot and keep growing and understanding where I can make more and more plays in this defense, uh, I think it's going to be big for us going forward. Hey, John, where did you feel like even this year where you felt like because of that, just being in the system where you could grow and then what is it that you want to build off of for yourself? Like what are some things you're able to do now that you couldn't do that you feel like you can get even better at next year? Uh, I mean, it's just familiarity uh, with, with the defense. Um, I mean, we were 3-14. We two got a lot last year. So it was kind of playing off this guy or playing off that guy, slow playing this. You, there's going to be certain times where in a 4-3 where we, we can hit it. You know, we, we got them playing vertical up front um, and with, with different stunts. Uh, it, it's, it allows the linebackers to be able to go and make even more plays. 
uh, not being as patient. Uh, you know, me playing in a 3-4 for quite a few years, the linebackers got to be patient. You got to let those guys work up front. Can't, you know, come downhill like you may want to. So being able to understand how John Allen is going to play things, understand how Payne's going to play things, uh, the vertical edges that are getting asked to be set outside, trusting those vertical edges. Um, there, there's there's so many things that come down to it. It's, it's not really a simple question, uh, but it's really just – learning to play off those guys up front and being able to play even faster and make more plays. Hey, hey, John, um, there was a lot, obviously uh, a lot of different linebackers that kind of went in and out of the lineup this year, some younger guys, uh, Kalik Hudson in particular. Just curious, what kind of stood out to you about some of those guys, including Kalik, and, and kind of how they, uh, what, what sort of the next step is for him? Oh, I mean, we, we look at it as a, as, as a linebacker, you know, we don't try to look at it as just one particular guy here, one particular guy coming in here. Um, we got a lot of guys that can do a lot of different things in the, in our linebacker room. Um, and I, I think that what, what makes us so versatile, uh, because we got so many different sizes and lengths, like just with guys, you know, Kalik is a guy that's done a lot of stuff, blitzing, coming off the edge, uh, in college. So he feels a lot more comfortable doing those things. Um, you know, I've done a little bit of everything. Cole's done a little bit of everything. Uh, Sean Dion's done a little bit of everything. So we, we got so many guys that can do so many different things. And it's just when your number get called upon, uh, you got to be out there, go execute and make the play.